Next time you're having oceans of fun, there might be something lurking in your swimsuit. Sounds scary, but it has a name. Sea bather's eruption, or sea lice, is a rash that happens when swimmers are stung by tiny sea larvae. These microscopic monsters dwell in U.S. waters and are easily trapped in fabric, causing your skin to erupt in red, itchy blisters within hours or even minutes. This summer, the sun might not be the only thing scorching your skin. I just decided I'm not swimming this summer anywhere. <laughs> I'm kidding. Join us now as board certified dermatologist, Dr. Sonia Batra. And we're gonna talk about some skin problems, starting with this, this sea bather's eruption. How common is this? It's, it's actually very common, more so on the Atlantic coast. Huh. So it's, it's exactly what the tape just said. It's, it's these microscopic larvae, and you can actually see them depending on what they are. So the jellyfish larvae that have been reported off of Florida or off of the Caribbean actually look like black dots. They're described as sort of like a black pepper appearance. So these are really like they're, little they're jellyfish, really tiny big, little tiny jellyfish. Tiny jellyfish larvae. And then you can also see them from sea anemone, and those look like little pink seeds. They're like two to three millimeter pink seeds. Wow. And it's, it's like what it said, basically they get trapped under your bathing gear. So your bathing suit under like a swim cap and then the external pressure causes them to release their toxin and you get this horrible stain. And the toxin is exacerbated when you take a fresh water shower, right? Exactly, so one, one really important thing is to take off your bathing suit before you shower because if you shower with it still on and the larvae, spreading. well no, the larvae are still in there and whatever hasn't released its toxin will actually go ahead, the spicule will release its toxin and it'll be much, much worse. So is there a way to get, yeah. get them off without, you know, these little microscopic yeah. larvae? Because, you know, if you don't want to just go take a fresh, I, I say fresh water shower, I'm really talking about the yeah. tap water that, that doesn't have obviously salt in it. Yeah. Is there anything special we need to be doing? So, well, ideally you could shower privately and take off the suit, but if you've already been stung or you want to remove the, the stingers that have the toxin, usually you start with vinegar or rubbing alcohol because that actually detoxifies the, the effect of the toxin on your skin. So, so if you, you catch it them. soon enough, you can mm -hmm. put the vinegar on there and pretty much not have to deal with itching for a couple weeks? Well, hopefully, yeah. I mean, yeah. usually the symptoms are dependent on how much surface area is covered. So treating so. similar to a jellyfish sting then? It's, well, these are jellyfish larvae, right. often in so many cases. And then other yeah. than that, you don't have to do anything else. Well, I mean, I think the other thing is if you still see the little spicules mm -hmm. or, or the, um, they're called uh, nematocysts, but they're actually still attached, rather than a rubbing or braiding, that actually makes it much worse than they will sting you. You're much better off putting shaving cream on and gently shaving them off.